Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this uh, video tutorial, well, I'm inside of DaVinci Resolve here, and what we're looking at is a scene from the Ice Planet of Hoth where Luke is escaping the Wampa Cave. And as you can see by this scene, it is uh, plagued by a heavy blue tint. And so my goal here for this uh, video demonstration is to remove that blue color cast and see if we can get the colors to look a bit more natural. So, the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do here is I'm going to go ahead and over to the color wheels and I'm going to go ahead and adjust the temperature settings. And I usually like to keep it like, you know, no more than a thousand. So that removes some of the blue down there, but there's still a lot of blue left. So I'm going to go ahead and add another node by right clicking on this node. Go to add node and then add serial. Just go ahead and scrub forward a little bit. And then what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to switch over to the one side here. And I'm just going to go ahead and bring the saturation down just until it's like more whitish. So maybe at about maybe 30. Let's go ahead and move forward a little bit. Ah, it's got to be freaking cold there, rolling down the snow bank. And there we have Han looking for Luke on his Tauntaun. So, so far that's looking pretty decent there. All right, R2 looks good so far. 3PO is a little desaturated, so I'm gonna go ahead and add another node. And then I'll go over into the Curves panel and I'll switch to Hue versus Saturation. And I might just adjust the yellow saturation points. And then just start dragging the yellow point up. So 3PO's color is a bit back there. Um, it's a little too orange, so maybe if I can adjust the hue a little bit. Now I'll go ahead and click on a point in the yellow section there and start maybe bringing the hue down a little bit. Just so that it's a bit more yellow. There we go. And I can also view the comparisons between the before and after if I just right click, go to split screen and check versions and original, and then click on this icon with the six squares. So, so far that's looking pretty good there as far as getting rid of that color cast. Let's go ahead and scrub forward, see how it's looking. Luke's face is kind of like off in color, so let's see if I can bring some of that back. What happens if I push the red up? Does that do anything? Oh, oops, we're in the wrong place. Hue versus hue. We need to be in hue versus saturation. All right, so that does help. Now it's a little too red, so maybe I'll go to the hue and then just kind of bring the maybe bring the red down a little bit. All right, there we go. And up he goes. Still looking a bit blue and cyanish here, so let's uh, go back to the hue saturation and uh, 
Take those blues down. Then I'll go ahead and click on the cyans and start bringing those down some. It's okay for it to have a little blue. I mean, it is cold and it is nighttime, so it's appropriate. We just don't want it to be like overly blue. What color are we dealing with here? Oh. Actually, I wonder if I can get away with maybe adding some warmth to it. So let's add another node. Click on the two here and then just maybe bring the temperature up a little more. Maybe at about 500. sure if all that uh, warmth there in the highlights is really appropriate so I might just reset that node all right three peels looking pretty green in there so let's fix that Click on this node, maybe see if I can get away with adding in, let's see, some contrasts and pivot. Alright, no, that's kind of not helping it there, so let's reset that. Maybe up the saturation on this one. And then what I might also do here is uh, bring the shadows up some. Did that not do anything? I guess not, no. Oh, wait. There we go. Julie's fur here is a little too red, so let's see if I can fix that. There we go. The saturation to 50, 65. I 
And here's Luke. See, the snow here is more wide as it should be. And we can see Luke's face better and the color on his skin better. So that was just the it for this demonstration here. If you have any tips on what I can do to make this uh, better, I am always open to hearing them in the comments section below. And if you like this and you want to see more content on how I go about color correcting the Star Wars films, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and leave a comment in the comments section below. And I'll see you guys later.